Uh, so what we're going to do right here is called the Fight Gone Bad. The Fight Gone Bad is a CrossFit routine um, that was inspired by, actually, I think, an MMA fighter where he would take a routine and then break it into a five-minute segment. You would do as many rounds as possible within that five minutes, and then you would rest for 60 seconds and do a different five-minute routine within the next five minutes, and then rest 60 seconds and then do another five-minute routine, a set of exercises, as many rounds as possible within that five minute time segment. So this is something that I incorporated uh, at the beginning of 2020, you know, the end of 2022 going into 2023 and to help improve my endurance. So um, today what we are going to do, we're going to do as many rounds as possible for the first five minutes and fight gone bad is going to be three muscle ups with 11 kg, about 25 pounds. And then we're going to go three muscle ups, um, five pull ups. It's going to be as many rounds as possible within that five minute time frame. Once again, this is going to be uh, for the first round of uh, well, the first five minute set. And then for the next five minute set, we're going to do 500 pound squats, excuse me. Yeah, 500 pound squats and then 20 push ups. That's going to be for as many rounds as possible. The 100 pound squats is going to be a goblet squats. I'm going to be holding a dumbbell. And then after that, we're going to do 20 push-ups, 10 pull-ups. All right, so my iPad had died, and I don't got a clock. But I do have a clock right here at the gym. I'll have to keep my eyes on. So about to start in five, four, three, two, go. Ah, one down. Start right now. My face ain't getting cropped out. Yeah, it's a hard one right here.
Yeah, it hurts. Yeah, it hurts. But that's where you come a champion at. Time. So, um, that's there you have it. So, we just left the LA Fitness and we are on our way to Anageta Delights. This is one of my favorite uh, Caribbean, this is my number one favorite Caribbean spot. Let me take that back. This is out here in Columbia, Maryland. It's a sneaky spot. It's right here off of Snowden Parkway, not far from Chiseled. And this is one of the gym, uh, one of the, um, this is one of the restaurants that I like to eat at because they have halal chicken, halal beef, they have halal food, right? And the guy's not even Muslim, you know, but he just, he's, he's, he's respected, he respects the Muslim way of slaughtering the animals so much and the texture of the food, the texture of the meats. He, he loves it so much that he stopped going through Cisco. I believe he was getting the suit from Cisco and he cut him off. He's like, man, y'all just keep sending me fatty, bloody beef and chicken and whatnot. He's like, man, I might've just stopped messing with, you know, the, 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 the ox. And, you know, I'm the guy's been, you know, has, has a business is flourishing. You know, and I always know food is good when you have a mix of diversity uh, amongst your customers. When you got just all black people in there, red flag. When you got all white people in there, it's, it's a red flag. If you got all Migos and, uh, and Arabs and, 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 and Japanese and Chinese and Koreans in there, you know, that's a red flag. But when you got all of those different uh, nationalities, um, coming to this one spot you know it's special or or any spot you know it's special so that's why i like to come here and uh, i'll be tearing this food up bro so what i'm gonna get is the brown stew chicken they got jollof rice up here with the squash and zucchini so we're gonna grab all that um take it to go or do i want to eat in there probably don't got time because they what they do is they open from 11 to 2 and then they close and open back up from 5 to 8 they one of those spots so um yeah but as we're pulling up right i do want to talk about recovery so as we know this training routine that i just did it was very taxing it was very um uh draining right so as a as a as a heavyweight you know you have to understand that recovery and replenishing the body with the right nutrients and proteins um is essential because if not your body isn't going to be at 100% or even 80%, 75 or even 50% the next day. The next day, you might feel like you got hit by a bus. So you wanna make sure that you're getting your, your, your macros in. Um, and I don't count macros, but I have a number in my head, a feeling in my stomach that I always try and be mindful of 
to where as though I, if I'm overeating, bro, it's time to calm down. But I do, you know, sweat a lot. I do burn food off easily. I'm an ectomorph, hard gainer. So I, I, it's a strategy that I have when I approach, you know, my eating and stuff like that. Um, but hydration is key. And if you're hydrated, nine times out of 10, you'll be able to perform at optimum levels. Um, but yeah, so these type of routines, do you do them seven days a week? Absolutely not. Your body will shut down, especially as a heavyweight. Do you do them six or five days a week? No, you don't. You know, they're just not designed for that. They're not designed for your nervous system to be taxed to that degree to where as though now you feel your body starting to really feel it. Your joints are going to hurt and your, 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 your motor units aren't going to be able to fire off. Your central nervous system is, you know, feels like it's being compromised. So you got to really be strategic when you're, uh, I don't got my backup camera. I'm in my wife's car, so this is going to be kind of funny. Oh yeah, we good. I still got it. I don't need no backup camera. Yeah. But yeah, um, you know, your joints are going to start to hurt. And like, like I said, that CNS is real. That central nervous system, once it's fried, it's fried. And, um, you know, like I said, man, I always want to focus on that breathing and making sure you're incorporating the right breathing mechanics and inhales and exhales. But yeah, so let's step into this spot, see what they got going on in here today. Hopefully they're not sold out of anything. Cause you know, that's another indication of spot jumping. When they got stuff sold out, you know they the ones, not the twos. In and out in like five minutes. Got my food. Got that mixed ginger punch right here. Sorrel, I think is what it's called. I don't know how you pronounce that. I never even heard of what Sorrel is. I'm not sure if that's like a flower or something. I know hibiscus is a flower, but yeah, this junk body go down. Watch this. All right, yo. They had me in and out there today. Can't even get this junk open. Bow. Subhanallah. This is the Joe Love Rice Brown Stew Chicken Squash and Zucchini, bro. I can't make this up. This right here. I'm trying to share with you guys a little bit of how I live and I'm trying to share with you guys, you know, a little bit with how I live. But bro, I don't like being disturbed. Like I like to enjoy these moments. But apparently, this is what the algorithm for YouTube or even Instagram is like really you know gunning for right now so i guess to keep up you know with the algo i gotta do what i gotta do you know what i'm saying bismillah mm. Mm -mm -mm. bro I feel bad for y'all i feel bad if you're not in the dmv area but I don't feel bad if you're in the DMV area and you haven't been here yet. I don't feel bad for you. I'm like, what you doing, bro? After you see this video, he's like, and they get a delight. So I'm gonna draw a pass so y'all know. So look, when you pull up, when you pull up to the Jiffy Jump, it's gonna be right here. It's in this back corner right there. You walk straight into there, parking, there's ample amount of parking. This is actually an office building. So when you pull up, you're gonna be like, man, what the hell is this? Where's the gel at? But you're gonna see that green truck over there. That's their food truck. I ain't sure if they active with it or not, but you see a lot of cars there because a lot of people work here. So, uh, you know, you'll find a parking spot, inshallah, but make sure when you go there, you pull up, tell them man time sent you. 